Melbourne's Rod Grinter has a three-match suspended sentence hanging over his head. As Rob Asprey reports, the suspended sentence has become extremely unpopular within the AFL and the penalty may never be imposed again. Grinter was booked on a charge of striking Richmond's Mark Lee with a fist to the stomach during the third quarter of Saturday's match at the MCG. Grinter, Greg Williams and David Rhys-Jones all received suspended sentences last season. Striking Melbourne's Stephen Stretch and Mark Lee for striking Melbourne's Graham Yates. The AFL is expected to view videotape of other incidents from the MCG match next Wednesday. ...for striking Graham Yates. But there's a number of worries for Melbourne officials concerning Grinter. He has a three-match suspended sentence hanging over his head, which would be automatically added to any penalty received tonight. Then there's trial by video, and another incident involving Grinter will be looked at closely on Wednesday. A decision would have normally been made today, but most of the league's decision-makers are in Sydney for tomorrow night's State of Origin match. It's this clash between Grinter and Richmond's Andy Goodwin which will feature heavily. It may have escaped the notice of the umpires, but certainly not the MC. Grinter and two other players, Richmond's Jeff Hogg and Fitzroy's John Ironmonger, are all victims of trial by video. Rob Asprey is reporting on tonight's proceedings. King Richmond's Mark Lee. A three-match suspended sentence was imposed automatically when the tribunal handed down a four-match penalty. Grinter was a shattered man as he left AFL House. You feel a bit disappointed? I can't say anything, Rob. Tonight, Grinter, who turns 25 next week, is back in familiar surrounds. He was summoned to appear after officials viewed this videotape. Grinter appears to make contact with Richmond's Andy Goodwin. However, earlier tonight, Melbourne officials were confident about the outcome. In a change of role, Grinter will act as a witness over this incident where Richmond spearhead Jeff Hogg was booked for allegedly striking... Weeks ...after being found guilty of striking Richmond's Mark Lee. Grinter became the first player to have a suspended sentence tacked onto his penalty. Tonight he's set to hit the headlines again, fronting the tribunal on a trial by video case. Well, the next case up tonight, Jeff Hogg from Richmond has pleaded not guilty to a charge of striking Rod Grinter. That case is going on at the moment. And then the big one, Rod Grinter up for the second time this week. Already he's been rubbed out for seven matches. Melbourne officials tell me he'll plead not guilty to a charge of striking Andy Goodwin of Richmond and that in fact he'll say in evidence that his hand was open at the point of impact. So let's have a look at these two incidents right now. The next case involves Rodney Grinter but this time as the victim. It occurred just before Grinter's report for striking Mark Lee which saw him receive his seven week suspension on Monday. Tiger full forward Jeff Hogg has been cited for allegedly striking Grinter with a fist to the face. Then the big one, Grinter up on his second charge this week of striking an opponent in the stomach. This time it's for allegedly striking Andy Goodwin of the Tigers. After the incident, Goodwin went to the ground and the incident was shown on the MCG scoreboard which brought a huge roar from the crowd before Goodwin regained his feet and went at Grinter.